John chapter 2 verse 13 through 16 now the Passover of the Jews was approaching so Jesus went up to Jerusalem and in the temple enclosure he found the people who were selling oxen and sheep and doves and the money changers sitting at their tables he made a whip of cords and drove them all out of the temple with the sheep and the oxen and he scattered the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables then to those who sold the doves he said take these things away stop making my father's house a place of commerce what is a money changer a money changer is someone whose job is buying and selling currencies for profit back then the Jewish law required that the temple tax was paid what these money changers would do they knew around Passover that people would come to the temple and offer their sacrifices unto God Many people came from foreign countries and when they brought their foreign coins these money changers knew it wouldn't be accepted because they were foreign coins. So in exchange for coins for the Jewish money they would charge the religious people a high cost. Now if you pay attention it says they were selling ox, sheep and doves what does the ox represent one who is willing to sacrifice himself bear the burden serving willing to do the work the sheep we all know what it means is God's people the followers of Christ scripture says that my sheep know my voice and another one they will not follow and then it says that Jesus found them selling doves what does doves represent the Holy Spirit for us today it would mean spiritual gifts so in other words these people these money changers they were selling off their services God's people and the Holy Spirit the people were selling off their services their sacrifice this would mean a minister charging for his services my services are for sale hirelings they were selling off God's people. They were selling they were selling sheep. Sheep represents God's people. And they were selling the Holy Spirit. And we know according to scripture because it is the Holy Spirit, the spirit of God that gives gifts to men. Spiritual gifts are not for sale. And I will do separate teachings on breaking down each of those gifts because many in the body of Christ are selling off spiritual gifts are selling off the gospel and they are using venues as an excuse to charge for these man-made events it's sickening and God is tired of it one of the ways that the body of Christ have turned God's house into a den of thieves go back to the passage John chapter 2 verses 13 through 16 one of the ways God's house has turned into a den of thieves is through the forming of these type of events charging for deliverance charging for revival here are some comments of what people had to say about this event I followed you for a long time someone said Marcus Rogers I followed you for a long time but y'all are charging for revival and deliverance and not just a small nominal fee some tickets over three hundred dollars how another person said you don't pay for deliverance and someone responded to her and said email marcus rogers or any other pastors to see if they have a fund for those who can't afford i think it's wonderful what they are doing having a men's retreat to train and equip and to bring deliverance to the captives is a huge venue in a huge venue like this is a blessing why complain and criticize over 3,000 men already registered praise God I'm going to say this and now and even before anyone say that I'm against charging I am against selling the gospel you can't sell the gospel it's for free and by the grace of God 
I can say for almost 10 years now, I have contribution statements that back up that I give thousands of dollars towards God's work. And so I'm not against giving to God's kingdom at all. Now, there is nothing wrong registering for events, but to charge, people are being charged for deliverance and revival. Whoever created this event, God did not lead them to do this. Because please believe if God leads someone to do an event, to rent out a venue, he's going to lead them to pay for the event up front. And I said this before, there's a difference between business and ministry. In business, you pay first and receive later. This is what this event is. This is a business. In ministry, you give, you serve first, and then you receive afterwards. You see, everything is opposite in a kingdom. For people that try to justify and say, well, you know, their venue cost and a worker is worthy of their wages and all of this stuff. Many of these leaders profess to have faith in God until it gets biblical. And by the way, let me make this clear. If you accept and invite where they are charging for spiritual gifts, in this case, deliverance, God is holding you just as accountable. And God is not confused. His hand is not short. His word doesn't change and won't change for no man. God will never go against his own word. Spiritual gifts are freely given. And so, again, if God leads anyone to start an event and hold it at a venue, he's going to have them pay out of their own pocket. Or he will impress on others that will be part of the event to all give their part to cover the costs. And so just as Jesus flipped the tables over, on the money changers he done it because they were turning god's house his father's house into a marketplace how do we think that looks today i mean do we just when we read this do we think that people gonna be selling cattle and and doves and sheep no we have to ask ourselves what would this look like today if we were going to sell the gospel how would this look today and so many in the body of Christ are doing the same thing that was done thousands of years ago. There's nothing new under the sun. It just changed. Things just change form. And so we know that God's house isn't merely um, about a, a temple, a physical temple. But it is wherever his spirit dwells, which is in the believer. This event is wrong. If God is truly God in these ministers' lives... They will take heed to his voice. But in the kingdom, we don't charge for spiritual gifts. We give and we receive afterwards. Blessings.